So therefore, to think that uh, if your mind is too hard to tame, even are uh, uh, not able to tame by the countless Buddhas of the past, but now today your mind is taming by uh, by your own Lama. This is the reason why your Lamas are more kindness, kind, kinder than the Buddhas of uh, Buddha all the past. The even Buddhas, they appear really, but they, uh, they, they do not have more than this to do, that what your lamas are doing, which means showing the complete path uh, uh, and guiding to the correct path. There's no extra th- to do than this. <laughs> For example, as uh, um, when you are extremely hungry, so hungry that really you are near to die because of so hungry, and then when someone give you uh, uh, enough food to eat. And then, then in the middle, or, or when you are not hungry, but someone gives you a food to eat. And then when, uh, when everything is going very well, that you have enough things to eat, but still someone, someone gives to you. So this, all of these three, three different occasions, who is the most kinder? Who is the most kinder? And who is the most grateful to you is when you are facing great difficulty. The one who gives you that when you are near to die because of so hungry. <coughs> So, uh, just as when you are facing extremely difficult of hungry, and when someone gives you so something to eat in, in order to protect you from that uh, dying, so uh, just as that person becomes extremely kind and beneficial, in the same way, we are uh, we are in the famine of uh, the t- of uh, the spiritual guidance and uh, about the Dharma practice of the time of the degenerating time. In such a situation, it is the Lama who uh, who are giving you in the teaching in this bad time of situation. Therefore, therefore, this is the reason how Lamas are kinder than Buddhas. All the gratefulness. So therefore, or uh, uh, because of this reason, Lama becomes uh, uh, kind, more kind and grateful than the Buddhas of the past, because. Uh, the Lama, it is Lama who gave you teaching in the time of this famine of teaching when you are near to fall to the lower realms, when you are just at the edge to fall down it is Lama who protects and who catch you from you by giving other teaching <laughs> Then in the same way, when you started to <coughs> progress your, your path due to the kind of Lama, when you reach in, in a level where you attain the power of concentration called the generosity uh, of Dharma, at that point 
again you are protected by Lama by giving by manifesting in the form of uh, of a supreme emanation so even if you are in a good condition you that means you are already rich in already good levels but still the Lamas are guiding you like just as uh, that beggar you know um, who uh, who at first receive uh, the foods to protect you from the hunger and then that that beggar become bit better condition And then when you reach in the path superior path uh, the area part of area then you will you will you will receive the uh, the direct vision of uh, in the form of uh, the Zamboga Kaya so you will see that the most difficult period of time which means when you are facing great difficulty like famine of Dhamma uh, in the great danger it is Lama at first who gives you the teaching not when you reach uh, at that level where you are guided by the Buddha in the form of Nirvanakaya and Sambhogakaya's Buddha at that time you are already reached in a good situation So we say stop here, thank you. Chuji <laughs> Tell Tension 
ตั้งหลายเบ็ดชั่วเลยตัวนี้เบ็ดชิดดูเงี้ยเต้นเนี่ยแม่บ้านจะตัวเบ็ดเต้นตัวเดียวว่าพันเดือนเดียวแม่บ
So in order in order to attain this uh, the state of uh, the Buddhahood, one must attain by depending on uh, the practice of Lamrim. And to practice Lamrim, one must know how to practice uh, the and how to follow this gradual uh, the path. And in order to attain one's mind in the Lamrim teaching, one must have a virtuous thought, a virtuous um, the attitude, and not sufficient just having a virtuous um, uh, the attitude. We need to generate a superior motivation of the of the bodhicitta. <laughs> So uh, contemplating uh, through this manner, we should uh, try to generate correct motivation now by thinking that um, in order to uh, benefit all these mother sentient beings, I must attain the highest state of uh, the Buddhahood, and for that, the reason for that purpose, I will listen uh, to the Lamrim practice, and I shall also uh, meditate and, and practice. So uh, now the subject or uh, matter of today's teaching is a teaching which poses the following uh, qualities. The teaching which poses the following uh, qualities. Um, it is uh, uh, the part of the fortunate being which uh, leads to the state of enlightenment, which is uh, the, uh, the teaching of the great vehicle, and it is a uh, tradition the inaugurated or blessed by the Nagarjuna and Asanka. It is a tradition of uh, Nagarjuna and Asanka. And it is the it is the uh, the uh, ex, uh, the essence instruction essence and pro- profound the profound and hard instruction of Adisha and uh, the Lama Tsongkhapa uh, and uh, it is the integration of the essence the teaching of all the eighty four thousand scriptures of Buddha's uh, the teaching presenting in the form or in the manner of how to put them all put them all together as a pra- practice uh, um, to attain enlightenment so such teaching this lamrim having all this quality is presented under four or uh, the main divisions which means uh, ex- the first one explaining the qualities, n- n- the explaining or the, the, the qualities of the biography, biography of the author in order to say that such teaching p- poses a sound reference. And then explaining the, um, the qualities of the, the teaching itself in order to generate uh, faith and devotion in the mind of disciple. The third division is uh, how uh, how to listen and how to teach such uh, the precious uh, the teaching having these two qualities. And the fourth one is how to lead and guide the disciples, uh, depending on the actual uh, the instructions of the actual uh, teachings of Lamrim. <coughs> so 
So um, this uh, the teaching of Lamrim has uh, four main outlines, which we just uh, mentioned, <coughs> which we just uh, mentioned. Hmm. ตาตะนิจบาตันบังเวจนมาจะตะเตนบาตันลองจะตะวะชิญเตนบิชุตันเตนลอจะตะวะชิญเตนบิชุตันลอยันเตนตึนตันตึนซองญีเจมาเดต
Shinkan Zan is done. That Shinkan comes over that, Cholo Jabe, to do the name Cholo Jabe to the Hindu Tanaka Majoni. Doka Majoni in the Tanan, the Transit Jatu to get in two Jet Harbor to bear, two Harbor to bear, Jenny. Two top a chicken, two top a chicken by Jenny. What then? Cholo Jabe to that's in Cholo Jabe to just in general, then the Duke of Marumba, and the Jew Messin, but then the Duke Duke of Tashi, which you had there. I just on the day you enter, and the super telepathy to talk. Chitri Jen, then Cholo Jabe to the Dama Deva. Just on Hanato, then be new duty, then be Cholo Jabe, and Saint Jan on a tenebe, guarding Chishu number, that's Sanjay Tanjay later than be Sanjay Shasha to Batan, I don't guarding Chia. Sanjay Sumi Sangara, could you see? So uh, when uh, the Buddhas of the past, the different Buddhas, such as call the, the Kujur, Kujur or Tip, Tip Ki Mujur, and uh, the, um, the thousand sons so uh, and uh, the the uh, the tamse gasodul tamse tamse gasodul gasodul so when they generate bodhicitta in front of uh, of Tathagata, uh, Tathagata Ningbo, when they, so um, the, none of these, none of these have ch- have choose, oh, sorry, non, none of the first two have chosen the, uh, the, the sanctioned being of the time of degeneration time to benefit because because they found that beings of this time of degeneration have much more affliction and much more harder to tame our mind. So therefore they have chosen the other li- other lands, li- like other other pure lands, to um to uh, to, to to guide and benefit sentient beings there. But the the, the third Buddha, the Tamse Gyasudul, promise and generate Bodhicitta to guide the beings of the time of degeneration time, which means uh, the us. Oh, then it's a duty, then it's a jabe. So, the jabe to another, Sanji to another transit just to do, and the Sanji Saja to be. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Sanji Saja to be one, Sanji, and that choked to go, and then Javan Tayo, so the jabe to not choked to go in Javan Tayo. Or Tetabe to never do duty, so the jabe, Sijan or Kadishan to Chevy, double two jets at Tija, and Dajan Duam, that Dajan Telekas and Duam, and Mazan Duam. They do it, and it. So this uh, the the third the Buddha who was uh, called the Tamse Gyasudul, Tamse Gyasudul, he manifest in the form of Buddha Shakyamuni during the time of degeneration where this lifespan of sentient being is 100 years. So even though he, he developed bodhicitta and he promised to benefit us, but because our, our mind is so hard 
and because the karmic obscuration is so strong that even these Buddhas not able to tame our mind and we remain all uh, the untamed mind. So that means we, uh, we, um, we haven't become the, the, the object, to, uh, object to be tamed uh, by the Buddha Shakyamuni. Oh. When Buddha Shakyamuni manifests in this world in the form of supreme emanation, we are not able to, to present at that time due to our karmic obscuration. Maybe we were, all, we were born somewhere in other the level realms. So, uh, however, we, um, we are able to receive uh, the teaching uh, from one's own uh, spiritual uh, master and even Buddha Shajamuni uh, present really or directly in front of you, he do not have uh, uh, more to, uh, or to do th than that, uh, except giving uh, the teaching, and uh, and this teaching uh, helps our, uh, to turn our mind towards uh, the, the Dharma. <coughs> <coughs> It is uh, said in the text of uh, Shantideva that even though the, uh, the countless uh, n numbers of Buddha uh, appear in this uh, the world, but still you did not become an ob object, your mind did not become an object to be tamed by these uh, the, uh, the Buddhas, even uh, during the time of Buddha Shakyamuni, because of our own karmic obscurations. <coughs> Yawan and also, uh, um, uh, we did not become an object to be obtained or mined by many great masters who appear in this world after the Buddha Shakyamuni, such as the great the Indian the, um, the masters like se seven successors of Buddha Shakyamuni, and then the six ornaments and <coughs> the two uh, supremes and eighty the the Mahasiddhas, and then uh, uh, also in Tibet the many great masters uh, appeared like the five great masters of uh, the Sajjaba uh, tradition and many other masters like Adisha, the Dom Tempa, and uh, many other great masters of Kajuba tradition as well as Giluba tradition. So all these different great masters of India and Tibet appear in this great world, yet we did not become an, uh, uh, an object to be tamed for our mind, our mind remained un untamed. <coughs> 
so, um, we are not fortunate enough uh, to, uh, to, to, to exist at that, uh, those times of the <coughs> appearance of these, three, these different great masters. Therefore, to feel yourself uh, um, that extremely uh, uh, great occasion to a uh, precious moment to, uh, to be able to receive teaching from um, one's uh, spiritual master. Oh,真的,他确实没看见你们的。他们要真的抢救什么,他就真的确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实确实
so uh, to remember all these uh, uh, is to or to, uh, to help us uh, to remind the kindness of one spiritual master such as Adisha also when he received teaching he has gone through many great hardships <coughs> So if all these uh, great masters have gone through such a hardship, then I also need to make to this uh, the hardship to receive uh, the teaching, and also to feel uh, fortunate that without going through such hardship, able to receive uh, the teaching from one's own um, the master, which is uh, the the same as you receive the teaching from the uh, the Buddha. for example, when you have eaten uh, a poison, <coughs> food. <coughs> no, when you have eaten food and poison and medicine, so all the three at the same time, and then because of that, if you if you feel sick, and if someone who came to you and uh, and uh, heals you by uh, by making you to vomit whatever poison you have taken and uh, transforming the food into a medicine healing medicine and uh, the medicine you have eaten transforming into uh, the immortal nectar so to such person, we, uh, we feel extremely grateful. Oh, <laughs> So, or in the same example, or in the same way, or we should think that uh, we are accumulating immense uh, negativities, which are compared or which are like the poison. And even if, if you try to accumulate virtuous things, very often they are directed for the benefits and happiness of this life. And whenever we pray and dedicate, we dedicate for the benefits and happiness of this life. But then, due to the, the, the kindness of one's uh, spiritual master, uh, just as, you know, 
the, the person who helps you to omit those poison, that poison, just as that person, you know, who helps you to omit. So in the same, same way, the Lama, the spiritual master, is helping us to, to do the practice of purification, all those negativities that we have done. <coughs> ちょっと見かけてんせ、たちょっと見かけてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんて